This is my shit. Let's do an appreciation for this shit. Fucking crazy, man. You know, honestly, I was looking through hip-hop news. A lot of bullshit, gossip, dumb shit, no music. So, let's get back to what it's about. The fucking music. I go, wow. Come on, bro. What? The gunpowder, boom. Hit the baseline, crank. What? Top rank. Damn. Tough to break down in sections. Lyricism, man. It's a killer. Similar to a backstab. <laughs> Rest my brain, it's insane. If I'm booty, then I've been framed by an MC. Who can't be the R.E.D.? What? <laughs> Got the easy by me the Trey 8. They can't the premises. No ass, they, 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 they. <laughs> Crazy. Similar to Rail 3. What? Both but smash and roast. <laughs> Here from the West Coast. With no abracadabra. A miracle, no abracadabra. Ooh. Salty in the townhouse. None of the above, but fuck with the roundhouse kick. <laughs> Semi pull. Damn. Name four. I'm more than the squad, no more than four to five brothers. Got smothered by a fist of fury. <laughs> the Bruce Lee reference, man. Brothers on my jock. Listen, this whole song is fire. Classic. One of my favorite EPMD songs ever. Top five, maybe for me. Maybe. I mean, EPMD have a lot of good songs. I should talk about EPMD one of these days. But um, I fucking love this verse. I still play the shit out of this every time I'm in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like if this is speeding music, for real. <laughs> like, the beat is crazy. You know, just the way Eric Sermon did the, the beat is fucking nuts. You know what I'm saying? And they all killed it. Peace to Mandela and Farrakhan. I fucking love the way he ended it too. The whole shit. But Redman, to me, shined like crazy. Like, Redman's verse was so good to me that honestly, if I were a rapper at this time, I would be worried. <laughs> I would be fucking worried if I heard this. And it was like, yo, who is this guy? Like, this guy's about to smash everything moving. And let me talk about some, you know, some things I really love in that verse in general. Because uh, lyrically, the whole thing is fucking phenomenal, right? Um, set up rhymes like, you know, fire the gunpowder, broom. And he doesn't say gunpowder, even though you know it's gunpowder. But gunpowder, boom. You see, again, shout out to my man Gemini. But Gemini is saying, like, writing. Hip-hop is about writing, okay? Really, you gotta understand how to write. Sometimes you gotta abbreviate certain shit. Sometimes you might not fully pronounce a whole word. Sometimes you might mispronounce a word, but if it makes sense, like, it has to make sense. Like, I have to be able to understand what you're going for, but the point is to fit it into the beat and, and rhythmically and, you know, emotionally, if it works, that's what you go with because it's about the feeling, right? I love that line. Um, phrases might get too tough to break down in sections. <laughs> Who says that? You know what I'm saying? This shit is smart, man. Line for line. Line for fucking line, bro. Um, I also line, you know, Brother C, I'm electrifying, similar to Rail 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's dangerous shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, they call that, you know, what? A simile? When something is like or as, Right? Quality similes, not just a simile, right? But quality ones, right? So, I'm miracle with no abracadabra. That's fire. I mean, listen, this whole thing is just, it's its just a master class in learning how to, like, in real flow. Like, just killing a beat. You know what I'm saying? I notice, you know, when people ask me about, oh, yo, Tochi, what do you think about the Billboard list and all that shit? I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I haven't even looked at that list and real talk, I'm not commenting on that shit, really. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what Billboard has to say. Billboard are not hip-hop. They never have been. So why would I listen to... Remember when I told you I don't really care what a casual thinks about rap like that? Like, you know, it's not like I'm sitting there going like, yo, I really want to know your fucking opinion. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't. So anyway, the point is, for you to be a great rapper, you got to have a verse like this, at least. You got to have a couple of these in your arsenal where it's like, yo... Do you hear what this guy just did on this beat? You know what I'm saying? Like, the features. Every great rapper. They've done incredible features, okay? So, if you haven't done any incredible features, really... Again, we're, we're, we're looking aside from your main discography, which is dope. But if you haven't done any incredible features where you've really killed it, 
Are you really that great of a rapper? Moving on. Now, this one, stumbled across this. A friend of mine posted this. Uh, this is like, yeah. You know this verse. It, it's so brilliant that honestly, I know it's cliche to even talk about this, but this is one of those joints. That I heard this shit and I was like, oh, fuck. And I can't remember when I heard it, but I breaks it down to the bone gristle. Sorry, let's just start there. I breaks it down to the bone gristle. Again, vivid. It's very, very vivid, okay? I know exactly what you're talking about. I can picture what you're talking about, okay? It's not abstract. Not some abstract bullshit, okay? Like, great poetry is about images. It's about con conjuring, you know, conjuring images in your head, right? Um... I, there's an easy line where I, I forget the quotable, but it's from the come up anyways. But the whole point is it's, it's about painting pictures. He, he has a line in there. Um, at the moment, it's escaping me because I'm thinking about this shit. But the point is you got to be able to, to create real visual images. And that's why the problem with a lot of these new dudes who put way too many words in their bars um, is they fuck up the flow, right? One, they fuck up the flow, but secondly, they actually mess the intensity up. They might not realize it, but they're not actually painting the pictures well enough because really a vivid picture requires few strokes. That's some rap science for you. The, the real intelligence is picking those few strokes. It's not just throwing a bunch of shit at the wall, right? Anyway. So, nightmares like Wes Craven <laughs> before it happened, right? Fucking satin kids, they smashing everything in any shape, form, or fashion. War choice. Fantastic. Hmm. Fantastic. You probably all know this verse. Sneaky eye, snot nose. Hmm. I keeps it moving. Know it's what the fuck I'm doing. Rap insomniac. Okay. That those those two words, rap insomniac, again, I love word choice. I like when people use words that you typically wouldn't hear in rap. Like you wouldn't hear somebody say that shit, but when they say it, you're like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not forced. You're not forcing some fucking random word. But it's 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 just again, intelligence. Diction shows intelligence. And when you put them two together, rap insomniac, I know exactly what you're talking about, right? <laughs> rap insomniac, fiend to catch a nigga snoozing. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> that's, that's, that's brilliant. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Again, it doesn't take a lot of words to show your intelligence. It's about the choice, the arrangement of the words, how it creates an image. You know what I'm saying? So when you're over rapping, and you're cramming too many words in a bar, and you're not really saying nothing, I, I can tell. To the, those who can't tell, yeah, they're young, whatever. They're probably not the brightest people. But for smart people, we can tell, okay? Because, can, you know, they say brevity is the soul of wit. It's not a, like a quote. But the point is, get to the point, right? Especially in rap, because rap is unforgiving, really, in the grand scheme of things. That's why you need to have a great beat, because great beats... They give you a lot of room to play with, but they don't give you that much room. Like, you know what I mean, right? Like, they give you a lot of room to express who you are and, and really sort of dance all over the track. But you've got to get to the point. Every every bar has to get to the point. That's when you really know a dude is killing it. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, arrest me. Hip-hop, possess me. Punch a nigga like a Nestle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you know my stays. The head toucher. It's free party bomb rusher. You don't like a dick up in your fuck, ya. Uh, yeah, man, what can I say about that verse that hasn't been said already? I know it's cliche, but fire, fantastic. Um, Meth Man's got a lot of great verses. This is one of the best. I would put this. I mean, it's hard to say. This is a guy with a massive catalog of great stuff. But if I was to pick, I would just, I would put this in the top five of like when of just like you heard it and you went, oh, like, you know, what I'm saying like I, I remember I don't remember the year when I heard the song, but I remember hearing this and being like, holy shit. You know, what I'm saying is you busting still is you flash and mm, like <laughs> that was when I was like, oh, this guy's going somewhere else with this shit. Like he's really 
he's really murdering this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Shout out to all the great rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love lyrics. You know what I mean? I, I know I talk about beats a lot and stuff like that because I do think that obviously, look, this beat's phenomenal. RZA really put his foot in the shit, right? I mean, listen to the shit, right? This is his fucking beat. This beat's simple. It's, sim it's simple, but again, like I said, few strokes. Just pick the right shit. A lot of these producers, the new ones especially, they be throwing all kinds of stuff in their beats. You don't have to do that. You gotta let go. It's about quality, picking the right shit at the right time. I breaks it down to the bone gristle. All right, man? Appreciate y'all checking me out. As always, one.